What's up, guys? I got a got a tutorial today here on um, on a nice blueprint, you know, scribble effect uh, in Photoshop. Uh, if you have, I mean, Illustrator, it's much easier to do this. It's literally just a filter. Um, uh, it's called Scribble, but um, this is this is gonna be manually in Photoshop. If you uh, if you do not have um, uh, Illustrator. Um, so, so let's get started here. Um, let me just put my mic down so I can use my hands here. Okay, so basically we're gonna, gonna open up a new file. Just call it Scribble Tutorial. 1280 by 720. Enter. So let's start off, we'll put a nice gradient um, for the blueprint effect. Uh, change that to radial, open that up. We'll change this to a nice blue, like right there. Uh, oops. Make sure you select your linear, your dark. So we'll make that a nice blue. Then we'll change the white into a bit of a lighter blue, like that. That's good. You can see the little. play around with the the balance a little that's good okay now that we have that we could bump the scale up a little and that looks that looks pretty nice um, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our text um, I'm just gonna put the enough okay we're gonna change that to white uh, and if you're wondering the text I'm using is called elegance so we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna bump the fill down to zero. Double click on it. We're gonna add a stroke and change it to white. And three is good. Okay, now comes the fun part. This is the part about we're gonna add the scribble effect. Um, so basically what we're gonna do here, we're gonna con command or control click on the layer picture. We're literally just gonna take our brush make sure it's a smaller size brush um, we're gonna make a new layer call that scribble and we're literally just gonna take it and scribble the brush all over the text um, Oops. make sure it's white and this is literally just what we're gonna do we're gonna take it and get that nice scribble effect and again, this is not going to be as good as the one you're going to get in Illustrator, but still, it's a way to do it. Um, I was playing around in Photoshop and I found this effect. Um, I haven't really seen any other f tutorials on YouTube on how to get this, so that's good. Of course, you're going to do it a little more carefully. Um, but now we're going to Command D, deselect the text. Now we're going to come down here and take off the stroke, and you're going to have that. You're going to go back up to the scribble and then we're going to zoom in here and we're going to touch it up a little. Uh, so you have that scribble effect on the outside of the text too. That doesn't look too good. You're literally just going to go around the outsides scribbling a little around without the guides. So you get it to you know, come around the outside of the text a little too. Okay. I'm gonna do this very quickly, so you guys, you guys are gonna to want to take more time on this. Uh, gonna get that. Now we're gonna come over here to the F. Oops, too big. And that's good. So that's a little sloppy. Um, let me just come down here and touch that up a little. Did not mean to do that. So that's good. Um, now we're gonna. Now that we have that, uh, we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna select 
a pattern and we're gonna select our grid pattern uh, if you don't have this grid pattern um, it's really easy to make just uh, you know follow a tutorial on YouTube there's many of them um, so we're gonna have that then we're gonna literally just put this to soft lap let's not do that let's we're just gonna change it to normal we're gonna bump the opacity down a little so it's still a bit over the text take the eraser bump the size up to around 400 take your brush rasterize the layer and paint around and erase around the parts that are not covering the text so that's, that's a nice little effect we have there now that we have the grid we're going to take the opacity down a little more now we're going to put a little blueprint effect on it we're going to zoom in and we're literally going to ju just draw lines across we'll do one there one there be diagonal Just little guides that make it look like a blueprint. Put one through the middle, one straight through here, one straight through there. And you zoom out, and it's a really nice, it's a really nice effect that makes it look like a blueprint. So you have that, and now even what you can do is you could take your shapes tool, even select an arrow. Um, and instead of doing that, you can, on the bottoms it looks really good, you take, oops, oh no, it doesn't look too good. We could literally just, um, do an arrowhead on the, on the, on the top, just trace around it with the pen tool and fill it in. Um, so that's basically it. You know, you could just... Do a little shape. You connect it. Left click. Makes uh, actually, you know. Do that. Oops. Just make the selection, and then fill it in with white. I mean, so it's a good effect. Uh, and you could do that for up here too. Um, but that's what's basically it. You know, you could use this on backgrounds or anything like that. And um, again, it looks better in. Uh, it looks a lot better in Illustrator because they have the filter for that. But this is just the manual, and you're gonna get it to look a lot better than this because I kind of rushed through this. But this is just basically to show you the, you know, the outcome of the effect and the, uh, you know, the nice overall look of it. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next tutorial.